guys, it's Amy and welcome to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. And how have you guys been in this wonderful uh, one month we now? We're April. It's April already. This year is just flying by, isn't it? It's scary. Next thing we know, we're going to be like 96 and addicted to drinking prune juice. What's that even about? <laughs> Anyways, let's start the episode as we always do and say a big good morning to my wonderful minecraft family as well as destroying my carpet let's put that back down there there we go okay so bert and bertha where are you big humongous iron gooseberries this morning oh there we go hey bert bert how are you doing are you okay darling oh he is picking the block of the day and i must say bert this block is is quite marvelous isn't it i mean i could get lost here just staring away at this lovely block it's beautiful no 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 bert i'm not mocking you i'm not i think that your hobby is just the most interesting hobby in the uh entire world <laughs> have a great day bert now let's go and see lovely bertha bertha where is Bertha, do you think? Is she around here? Bertha? Um, hey, Bertha? Are you over here? No. Bertha? Where are you, darling? Where did Bertha... Oh, Bertha, you're right here! <laughs> Bertha, no, darling, I'm right behind you. Bertha? Bertha, I'm here. Bertha, can you see me? Look down your nose. There we go, Bertha. How are you doing, my darling? Are you having a good day? Enjoying the morning? It's a glorious day out there. Look at it. I cannot wait to go out there. But actually, you know what? We're not actually going outside much at all today because we need to finish our little survival bunker, which is, of course, deep underground. So that's where we are going today. But of course, we need to go and see the doggies and the kitty cats too. So good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning doggies who's got their head in the wall hello hello Wh which doggy are you look at me look at me oh it's romeo yeah <laughs> you silly sausage anyways good morning kitty cats have some fish there we go comet and saturn and of course little star look how cute star's eyes are they're so blue they're so pretty for i love it now doggies are you guys ready for your breakfast would you like some potato no? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, what about some fish? Do you like some fish? Okay, I'm guessing you guys might like some steak! <laughs> fish or steak! <laughs> yeah, it never gets old! It never gets old! <laughs> Loves it! Anyway, there we go, little Romeo. We have little Lexi over here. We have lovely Lola and little Luna. We have Mars over here. We have Sailor. Did he get some Sailor? Good job, buddy. We have Boomer. We have Destiny. There we go, Destiny. And of course, we have Max. Now, who should we take with us today? Mm, we're doing a lot of underground work today, but we're also doing some nature stuff. Um, so maybe I'll take Luna because Luna loves to come with me whenever we do anything that involves nature. So come along, Luna. Come along. Now let's go see Mittens, Mr. Frost and Blizzard. I see you, Mittens. I saw you standing there, you cheeky monkey. How are you doing today, Mittens? Are you okay? Are you good? What's up? You want to go out? I know, Mittens. But Mittens, look at me. Mittens. Mittens, look at me. You do know every time I let you out, I have to spend like 17 hours clearing up after you because you cause so much mischief. It's just, I mean, if you can clear up after yourself, it would be fine, Mittens. It really would. Stop giving me the puppy dog eyes. Mittens. Mittens. Oh, he's mad at me. Oh, Mittens, I can't even with your puppy dog eyes. Fine. You know what? Go out. Have fun. Don't cause too much mischief, okay? Good morning, Mr. Frost and Blizzard. You guys don't cause trouble. I mean, a little bit of trouble, but nothing compared to this one. Yes, Mittens. I know. Naughty, naughty Mittens. Anyway, come on, Luna. Let's get on out of here and go and see Grandfather Oak for today's story. Are you ready? I'm so excited. I love starting the day with a story from everyone's favorite tree, Mr. Grandfather Oak, who is, of course, chilling over here. Hey, Grandfather Oak. Oh, you still have your Christmas wreath on. It's April, Grandfather Oak. What are you even doing? Okay, sit down, Lena. Are you ready for a story? Because I am. Grandfather Oak, can you please tell me a story? Can you tell me a story all about, um, 
a giraffe okay there's a giraffe and the giraffe likes to wear um a helmet you know like a helmet that they wear in like american football he likes to wear a helmet because he's a little bit anxious because he's so tall that if he falls and hurts his head that it will hurt him so he always wears a little helmet and then he has a best friend and his best friend is um his best friend is a a talking palm tree because the palm tree is also very tall and they get to communicate and they are BFFs. But then one day, um, there comes um a woodpecker and the woodpecker is like pecking on the palm tree and then the giraffe has to save the day and I don't really know what happens. But can you tell me a story all about that, please, Grandfather Oak? I really liked the part where the mice pirates came and then they sorted out everything and then they all enjoyed some um, raspberry juice together. That that was unexpected. I loved it a lot. <laughs> if you guys heard Grandfather Oak's story in your amazing imaginations, then please send me some fan art on Facebook or Twitter of the stories that you hear. Let your imagination run wild. I love to see it. It makes me super happy that I cannot quite even. We better get on with it, Luna, because this time is going uh, by very quickly. Let's go and see the cute recruit patch and see what cutie we have added this week because of course we have added a cutie and of course our cutie is totally cute. I mean, come on, it's a given, right? Uh, let's have a quick check on Mittens. Is he still up there? What's he doing? Jumping up and down like that. I thought he'd be escaping by now. He is up to no good. Anyway, where did you go, Looney? You're there. The cutie we have added this week is a mirror yay we have added a mirror because she sent me this wicked cool picture on my facebook that you can see on screen right about now how cool is that it's like an easter egg me and i've never seen that before and it made me super super happy and i loved it and it was really creative really colorful and it was cool to see me as a good egg yeah <laughs> so thank you very much a mirror and welcome to the cute recruit patch yeah <laughs> you rock my my socks loves it. Right, so let's go to our little survival bunker because we need to fix that up because I'm afraid of things happening. We still haven't seen any of um, any more of Malice, which worries me. Like, if Malice is quiet and the witch is quiet, does that mean something bad is going to happen soon? So I really want to do the survival bunker before anything bad were to happen. Come on, Luna. Come on, baby. There we go. You're so cute that it hurts me sometimes. Uh, okay, so if you have not seen our little survival bunker, it is... Um, the door shouldn't be open, just saying. <laughs> it is in our library room, and we have made a little secret door, as you did see and can see right now. And of course, this room used to be the block museum, and we have moved the block museum... Um, nowhere <laughs> we have an idea of where to put it but i'm just not really sure um what exactly to do with it yet i uh, also need to fix this fireplace what's this someone's been causing trouble here it looks like an enderman or something i don't even know luna stay away from the fire okay that might be an issue mittens what are you doing in here mittens i i can see you you are aware that i can see you right exactly you're, you're not invisible mittens you're not <laughs> he's so cute i love him just be careful okay stay away from the fire don't cause any mischief blizzard what are you doing in here as well oh, it's like a snow golem party i cannot even anyway let's get on down here because like i said time is just flying by and pretty soon i will be drinking the prune juice so let's get on and fix up the survival bunker uh which is of course down here and i've been working off camera and it's looking pretty pretty swell what do you think you in here luna loves it let me just sit you down while i show the cute recruits exactly what i have done um in this room will be where we will have lots of crops growing so that if anything bad was to happen on the surface we can grow some food down here so i'm really excited about that that's what we're going to finish up today um, over here we have I think this is going to be the storage room so we can fill up chests with a whole bunch of survival equipment which is super cool in this room this is um, I think my favorite room yeah this is going to be um, like 
a nature room for me and the doggies um so we've made the <laughs> we've made the ceiling look like it's uh, the sky with some very cool pixelated clouds up there and stuff kind of reminds me of mario like a super mario cloud or tetris you know what i'm saying and we have a tree here because i think if anything bad was to happen um upstairs and we wouldn't be allowed up um outside in the real world for like 700 months at least we will have some kind of nature down here because without nature i would think i will go completely bonkers so at least we have somewhere where i'm gonna put lots of green grass down here make a little pond we'll have some wildlife which i'm super excited to do so we have that room and then over here uh, <laughs> this is going to be the bathroom and we have um a little place here where we can uh, have a little toilet so we can obviously go poopy -pee. and then this place um is a shower that i'm working on and if we pull this lever here you'll see the water will come out and we can have a nice shower and then my hair hair won't be gross ah i can wash my hair i'm so excited to do that so at least if we are stuck down here for 17 bajillion 100 months uh, at least my hair will still be lovely and smelling like coconut so i do need to finish this room in fact i need to finish every room um but for now i think we're going to finish up with the nature room so i got my um special pickaxe you know the one the silk touch pickaxe i can't even speak <laughs> what was that all about my silk touch pickaxe and i got a whole bunch of grass blocks so we can turn this area into grass so let me dig up um all of this and we'll replace it with some grass <laughs> literally just had enough of the grass blocks which is super super cool it's got very dark in here though hasn't it do i have any more torches anywhere uh let me check the other chest out here luna i'm sorry i made you sit down you like to do the nature stuff don't you um any more torches can anyone see any i can't see any but we should have a whole bunch of coal and stuff in here there we go and then we just need some wood which i think is in here let's get some stickles like so and uh how do we make torches again it's been such a long time since i even torched in life there we go fantastic and let's put some coal on top there we go we finally have some more torches um what i'm thinking though i'm thinking one i need to eat some lunch let me have my baked potato there we go nom 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 loves it and uh luna do you want any steak darling come over here luna wow <laughs> that was pretty impressive luna there you go cutie let's put a few more uh torches up here um like so wicked cool i'm loving it i'm digging it so what we're gonna do now is we have a whole bunch of flowers and stuff um so let's put some flowers down uh, and make this place look even cooler i don't know if i have any bone meal we should really have some bone meal somewhere um but i don't think we have any let's just put some of these down i need to keep my lovely jubbly love love petals close um but there we go okay so let's place a few flowers we also do want like a little pond uh so maybe i should probably put that down first let's go on over here and put this here maybe like a nice little pond so we can have some water and like wildlife going because obviously in our imaginations the pond will be filled with froggies and newts and all kinds of things uh let's do it like this um does that look good is that a good size for a pond i think that'll probably work and then let's remove the ground as well and like maybe put some i don't think i have any sand uh but we can put like normal dirt maybe do you reckon that will work guys i think it could work uh let's get the normal dirt and go um up like this oh careful luna how did you do that luna you're being a little wizard today my darling um like so let's get a few cobbly stones and let's just put that there for now uh luna i kind of need to go right there do you think you can just budge out the way a little bit good job luna um is she gonna get stuck i don't know i'm hoping she'll like kind of move out the way in a second do i have a bucket still i do look at that fantabulous so let's fill up our little pond area luna come out the way <laughs> luna <laughs> come on i need you to come out the way sweetie okay that's it thank you luna thank you very much uh let's put some more dirt down here 
and then let's get some water going and don't worry kids i have an infinity pool you don't need to worry about it look at this look ah oh, loves it right okay let's get a little bit more water and we need to start growing the crops actually because what if like the apocalypse happened like right this second we still don't have um any food growing so as soon as i finish up with our little nature room i'll get on with doing the crops um, which I think Luna is trying to tell me. She's like, do it, dude, come on. Okay, um, there we go. Can I get another one in here? Like that, there we go. Almost got it. It's almost level and stuff. There we go. Perfect. All right, um, so let me place a few flowers around here. Uh, let me get the blue ones as well. Um, okay, groovy. Obviously, we need a whole bunch of lovely, jubbly, love, love petals. But we also could do some red tulips like so and some orange ones. Uh, and we've got some like daisies. I think the daisies look really, really super cool. Um, and these blue orchids, uh, like that. Maybe another one over here. And then I really like these purple ones. I think they're really super pretty. They kind of look like lollipops, don't you think? I love it. Um, I think all we need now is some bone meal in here just to give it some like grass and stuff. But I think it's pretty cool. I think we need to change the walls though because although it looks very like naturey and pretty, we need some different kind of walls. Like maybe we could actually turn the walls into bark and hedges. I think that would be a really cool idea. What do you think, Luna? I think that's great. Okay, so let's go on into the other room. Um, let me get rid of all these flowers just for now. Uh, do I have a hoe? Uh, I don't think I do, but I've got some pumpkins, some melon seeds, some carrots, and some potatoes, and I have some wheat seeds as well. I think I can just go ahead and make a hoe. Let me go do that. Um, okay, how do I how do I make a hoe? I always forget this one. There we go. Simple. We got it. We did it, Dad. All right, loves it. So let's go on through here, and then uh, let's put maybe some um, wheat here. Groovy. Okay. Uh, you want wheat there, Luna? Where should we put the um, potatoes, Luna? Luna, tell me where you want the potatoes. All right, I'm gonna move you a minute so you move. Where do you want the potatoes, Luna? <laughs> Luna, Luna, step out of it. What's wrong? <laughs> Luna, talk to me. Where would you like the potatoes? Do you want them right there? Where Where are you looking? You want them here or where you are? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll just put them here then, okay? Will that make you happy? Okay. Uh, I try to include my dogulas as much as possible. I think she's really excited to have them there. Okay. Let's put the potatoes right here. Um, One, two, three, four. Let's have like two rows of potatoes. And then uh, two rows of the wheat as well. So let's put some wheat seeds um, in this row. And then on the other side, we can have some carrots. Uh, let's see how many, we've only got two more potatoes. There we go, that'll do. Okay, Luna's gone off. <laughs> All right, so let's put some carrots down here. Uh, like so we've got only five carrots and we want some melon seeds and uh, we want some um i was gonna say pineapple why did pineapple come in my head i don't even know uh let's put some melon over here and obviously the melon will grow on this little patch of dirt we kind of don't have any more room for pumpkin unless i um hmm unless what do we think unless we put the pumpkin on this side and then the pumpkin can grow maybe i'll have to do that i mean we'll just put the carrots somewhere else so let's put the pumpkins over here just so we can make pumpkin pies so we can definitely have a sugary treat now and again if we uh become isolated down here so maybe we should only have one row of um wheat i think uh so let's remove this wheat and let's put some carrots down here. So we've got two rows of potatoes, which I think are really good. Thank you. You watered the potatoes. That's very kind of you, Luna. Uh, and then we should probably have like a little chest in here where we can store all of the seeds and such. Uh, so let me go on over here and get some wood. Oh no, we've got some chests here, fantastic. And let me put a chest maybe around there. Okay, cool. And then we'll put some seeds in here and a stone hoe. Wicked cool, I'm digging it, Luna. I'm digging it. So next thing we've got to do is make uh, some storage chests in this room. <laughs> Thank you, Luna. Um, and we want maybe like uh, a two here and a two here. Okay, and we'll do that again on the other side. Well done, Luna. She's telling me exactly where I need to go. Thank you, Poppet. Let's get a little bit more wood. Perfect. And then let's put some wood in here and make a few more chests. There we go. Okay, we've got eight more chests. 
which I think is pretty uh, plentiful. Is that a word? It is now an emiism. Uh, there's just some more yeah, going around there. There we go. Oh, Luna, you're so cute. Sometimes I just want to give you so many kisses. Okay, so everything is pretty much looking good. We do have some beds and stuff which are here. So maybe we need um, some beds to put down. Uh, I didn't want to make another bedroom. I thought we might as well just all sleep uh, here. Do you know what I mean? Or we could make a bedroom. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, we have an emergency exit here so we can get on out if um, something happens so we can't get out this way. Uh, we've got our little doors going here. Um, maybe we can make a bedroom. I don't know. Part of me just wants the beds all lined up here. Uh, I think it'll just be easier. Uh, so we could put like a bed here and a bed here, a bed here, and then, excuse me, Luna, a bed there and then maybe the same on the other side I think would be really good we might have to move the doors around a little bit but I think that looks pretty neat and we're gonna have like a chest going next to everybody so everyone can have like their little emergency chest and put all their little special items in it uh, I don't know who I'm talking like referring to because there's only me in this world but you never know I may have like guests and uh, I want the guests to um keep their little possessions with them there we go okay so let's put the last remaining chests over here in the storage room um and put those on there that's perfect i'm digging it luna i am digging it it looks really cool so we're gonna put some beds on the other side to even it out a little bit um but so far this storage place uh storage place <laughs> survival bunker is looking wicked cool so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this in time for the next episode but we have run out of time for this one i hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and also check out the link in description so you guys can go ahead and see all of the books that i have published there are more on the way yeah <laughs> i love you guys so very much don't forget it Goodbye!